So breaking just in the last hour, newly leaked audio posted by The Intercept. President-elect Joe Biden saying that Republicans used the defund police movement to, quote, beat the living hell out of Democrats. Peter Ducey picks up the reporting live in Wilmington, Delaware. Peter. And it was a listening session on Tuesday, Bill, that this audio has now leaked out from, but the listening that Joe Biden was doing also came with a warning from Joe Biden for these prominent civil rights leaders that Republicans beat the hell out of Democrats at the ballot box when the talk turns to defunding the police. They've already labeled us as being defund the police. Anything we put forward in terms of the organizational structure to change policing, which I promise you will occur, promise you. Just think to yourself and give me advice whether we should do that before January 5th, because that's how they beat the living hell out of us across the country, saying that we're talking about defunding the police. We're not. We're talking about holding them accountable. And January 5th is the day of the Georgia runoff, so Biden is obviously concerned about messaging Republicans talking about Democrats defunding the police and the impact that that could have on their chances there. I reached out to the transition team about this leaked audio and what they make of it. An official tells me this. President-elect Biden is the same person behind closed doors that he is in public, honest, direct, and realistic about the challenges facing our nation in the day, uh, the day he is sworn in. As he made clear throughout the campaign, he believes in supporting bold and urgent reforms to our criminal justice system while continuing to support law enforcement's mission to keep our communities safe. The president-elect is here in Wilmington today. No public events on the schedule until tomorrow afternoon when he's going to announce some new White House staffers, including Susan Rice. Bill? Thank you, Peter.